Got some dumpster dive action for you. Let's get a time on this. Five fifteen. Beautiful late summer day. Saturday. It's a good time to come do this. Um nice little motor on there. Just plan on making a real-time video, so I don't wanna stop and disassemble a bunch of stuff. But, uh... Hey what's up man? Yeah. Hey, you want any of this stuff? Huh? You want any of this? Uh, I need whipped cream over in there yet. I yeah, that's not a bad spot. A little electric cord. <clears throat> hey, what's that? Oh boy. Uh, fiberglass tent poles. Uh, that's some good weight to it. And a tent bag. And a tarp. Hey, there's a tarp in here. You want this tarp? Hey, or no, it's a it's a tent. <clears throat> nah, that's all right. Thanks, though. So I'm gonna snatch up the wires off of here. that motor don't be surprised if someone sees this actually I'm gonna help them out a little bit put it out here like this what's that I spent six hours over cleaning up uh, that dick hair over there yeah so they can open and close that gate I got a camera on my head I don't know if you notice that or not I don't know if you want to be on a video or not oh yeah I, I, I live here <laughs> you're good uh, there's a nice tent right there in this bag, this white bag here. Check that out. You might want to be All interested right. in that. Yeah, I need a smoke stick. Hey, they look like a cherry bag. Is that one right there? Can you snatch that one? Sweet. Yeah, it's got a uh, tent. Uh, it might be the post. Tent. It might be the might be the tent stakes for that tent you just grabbed. Yeah. <clears throat> that to it's, fiber, it it's fiberglass. Hey, there's another, there's another tent, or they might be tarps. You might want to check yeah, them out. Yeah, they look like tarps. I think that's Here, uh, more of it back there. Here we get board, put that all the way back. Here, I'll get up in the head. Have a good one, man. I'm out of here. All right, bro. Hey, you know there's a scrap yard right over there, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I've been around here about nine years. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, man, later. All right, So I'm not exactly sure which way I'm gonna go yet. I might head out towards the industrial park. Although I made a recent video going that way. I was thinking about curling around the other way. Hitting a bunch of apartments instead. Old habits are hard to break. I'm used to cutting these cords way down here. I've learned to leave a little piggy tail in case someone wants to come by and test that out. I'll leave a little little nub of a cord. You saw that nice sealed thing of gift wrap. That'll go in the free tail store. I've got two batteries, both 100% juiced up.
when things aren't super exciting. I will start to take a couple of these little guys. Pay for my gas anyway. These are nice big ones. They got some weight to them. Throw in a sardine can. <laughs> Nice and dry, close to it anyway. Managers of this place, they do their own scrapping. They throw away this little stuff, but all the big stuff they get, they sit over here and disappears every couple weeks. <clears throat> Sheesh. Those dudes are stuck in there. <clears throat> oh well. throw that away if that's what I think it is just a glimpse just a glimpse of it let's see if that's what I think it is <clears throat> I thought it was an extension cord but, take the consolation dollars worth of brass, what do you think? I'd take that all day long if I could. That's the equivalent to, I call copper scrapper's gold. So what would brass be? Scrappers, 12 karat gold, <laughs> 10 karat.
someone's got themselves a nice little rig a little mini cooper with a storage deal on top kind of neat more storage than the thing on the roof as there is inside the car. Okay. name and look I don't know if that's why his mirror is dangling off the side of his car <laughs> Retail swaggy. made of something homemade something
It's a scavenger trap. <laughs> I think those dogs are related to my dog. Like I see a little red healer in there. I gotta get this hoopty. Is hoopty a bad word? Everyone's so sensitive these days. Gotta be careful. In the motorcycle world, they would call that that vehicle farkled out. <laughs> Have you ever Googled the word farkle? I thought it was quite interesting. I chose the word farkle because I found a, a game one, one night called farkle. I had been using the word Yahtzee, but Then I finally googled Farkle. Thing. What's that for like a, oh, it's a garden hose, isn't it? Huh. Looks like it's for a washer or something. What is it? Huh. I know what I call it. <clears throat> Scrapper's 10 karat gold. What do you think?
lots of cars out here for Saturday evening. It's a really nice day. It's the kind of day where you walk out your door and you're just like, man, I'd like to go do something. <laughs> I think we got more West Coast uh, forest fire smoke in the air. thrift store right there that can be good sometimes they don't throw a whole lot away though but down there peeking out at me we fitness plus is that anything i'm actually kind of surprised to see that in here that's uh, perfect condition uh, i suppose it's not worth much it's got a four dollar yard sale type sticker on there well actually you know what that might have sat in their store they might have not been able to sell it I'm not sure had to get it Icicles for the Christmas tree. Well, there's usually not very much good stuff in here. Perhaps they've changed their ways. Those little balls. They just need some air. What do you think? Is that free tail swaggy? I don't know, are those refillable or what? I assume that's refillable. It's kind of bulky. I may come back for that. I better put it back in here though, just in case. That's a broken glass. 
smart Christmas tree icicles. Little lady's bag, let's see. Oh, that's free tail. Burberry? Isn't Burberry a really nice brand? Am I am I just thinking of something else? Burberry. Burberry purses on eBay, and they are definitely pricey. 140 bucks. $1,200. That one right there looks kind of like the one I found. Uh, $360. Just kind of scroll down and see the different ones. If anyone out there can tell me if the one I have is real, I would appreciate that. Is that a knockoff, maybe, or something? Thing's broken. Oi, 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 oi. This would not be a bad one to come back at nighttime and excavate. And do some do some trash mining. A lot of broken glass in there though. Keep that guy clean. Glitter assortment, brand new. Free tail swaggy. I see in the comments a lot of times people wonder why I have that free tail store. And what it does, it opens up the door and it gives me a source of content. Because I normally would have, hey, look at that, that's pretty slick. It's a watercolor feather. I wonder, I'll take that home and look at it. Oh, you know what, I better, Catalina, Catalina Fine Arts, New York, title, something or other, Thatched Cottage, Van Gogh, that's a Van Gogh reproduction, so that probably has some value to it. found a Picasso reproduction a print it's worth like a hundred dollars <laughs> just the print hey you know what I might have to come back here I've never seen this type of stuff in here before I wonder if COVID-19 all the people cleaning out their closets you know out of boredom was not Nothing to do during COVID-19. I wonder if the thrift store. Has received way too much stuff. Because I've never seen them throw away this kind of stuff before. I don't think that Van Gogh print should have been thrown away. Or whatever it was reproduction whatever you call it that's a picture friends we might have to hold on to that that might be a, an award for like a <laughs> best sniglet runner-up best sniglet or something what do you think <laughs>
That's a stainless steel bottle. Probably find a way to protect this guy. It's got a little scratch right there, probably from being in a dumpster. Uh, not really a scratch, but like an indenting. 8343 fetched cottage. Um, I think that's probably something. The one piece of art that I could find on eBay it's listed for 55 for shipping. Van Gogh thatched cottages. Um, that one's not framed up and stuff, so frame probably has 10, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, I don't know. I'm scrolling down here and check this out. This one claims to be an original. Uh, wait, original lithograph on paper. I'm not sure what the deal is there. $10,000. Seeing something like that right there starts to get you thinking. What if one day you find a real one? A real painting? What do you think? If anyone out there has a lot of experience with this watercolor feather deal, I was looking on eBay. These are going for $100, $59. Um, I didn't see a name on that. It might be hidden in the frame somewhere. But uh, if anyone can recognize that right off the bat, I'd sure like to know down in the comments, please. Thank you very much. Try to protect it. Let's get down the road, try to show you some stuff. What's up, man? Yeah, I, I didn't do that. I'll help you pick it up, though. I, I, I put about half of it back in there. We don't mind you jumping in Yeah, there. no, I know. I know. Just, I know. Just trying to clean, clean up, man. Yeah, just someone. Sure the pain the ah, I know, man. Just clean up. Trust me. Watch out. There's it's a lot of glass. Yeah. yeah. How we tell them, huh? Yeah, I know. They're gonna gripe at us like, I know. We tell I know. them about to dive. Because <laughs> we throw broke glass. Hey, you've been, you been getting a lot of stuff for COVID 19, people cleaning out their closets and stuff. I'm making a video. You mean you mind being on video? Uh, okay. I'll edit you out if you want. It looks like you're getting lots of stuff from COVID 19. I'm just taking a guess. Yeah, we people, people cleaning out and stuff. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Illegal dumping and people making a mess. That's what will make people angry.
So if you have a honey hole, a thrift store like that, or a retail shop or something, it's not a bad idea to clean up other people's messes. I'm not in the habit of doing that because if I did that, I'd spend half my time. <laughs> Well, maybe not half my time, but I would spend a lot of time doing that, so. Uh, I think maybe I better stop cutting through there. The old path is gone. That went away quick. I saw it uh, in the springtime. Must have just been the remnants of it. This is Little Caesar's Pizza. Usually this type of place will just be a scum dumpster. But from time to time they'll throw out some uh, some equipment, some stainless steel and whatnots. shakes GNC type stuff keto protein calcium supplements chips green superfood fish oil See why that shortcut was such a nice shortcut right here. <clears throat> hey, look at that. I didn't see that. Question is, does it have the brass? Oh, I think so. <laughs> Something's hooked on something. Sixteen dollars sticker on that. It. It's not bad. A little free tail swag leg. Is it swag leg? Or is it Schwagoli? Oh, I'm gonna come back for that stainless steel sink. It's got the brass faucet and stuff. Real time videos, I like to try to get to as much as possible.
dry, I'll have it right there. <laughs> I feel like I've done this before. If it's dry, I'll have it. What do you think? Someone's probably camping out back here. Sipping the sauce. There's another one. Same, same deal. this guy doing? <laughs> I don't know if that gift wrap's gonna make it or not. Woo! Rubber, cement, or something. Stick your head in that down so you get a buzz. Industrial park it is. That was not a bad little get coming out here. I'm just gonna peek in this metal dumpster. I don't want anyone to freak out on me. It's iron, Rogers iron up north of here. Never get in one of these. Here's a camera right there. Camera right there. I'm just peeking. Huh? Nah, I'm not getting in there. Raccoons. Raccoons can't jump, so see this? He's up on his back feet here. Maybe he can get off the ground an inch or two. A couple, a few inches maybe. He's getting his fingers up here. Here's his back right leg. Fingers up here. Here's both his back legs. See that? Oh, hey. I wondered about that. <clears throat> um, looks like it's been retaped. Huh. 
bunch of plastic reflectors. Oh, if a person needed a bunch of reflectors, there it is. GoPro picked that up or not. That guy offered me the metal that was in there. <laughs> I thought he was just joking at first, but I don't know if he was serious or not. That's the, the classic employee says you can do this and then the owner calls the cops on you. Hey, look at that. It's a nice hunk. Chunk a chunk. Okay. Ah. You see Delco. I wonder why they threw that away. Something's talking, so you hear that? You hear that? An electronic gizmo or a fly beating his wings against the plastic it was flies it was a bunch of flies <laughs> I thought it was an electronic gizmo and it was <laughs> this dumpster has been pretty good lately Something down here going chinga chinga chinga. It's, a, it's the classic call of the skibble scabble. That's more than a skibble scale over there. It's nice. A chunk of aluminum. <clears throat> this is like kind of like a big coaxial cable. It's got a decent amount of copper in it. Maybe like a low grade wire or something on them lines. Something scrap you ought to give something for it. Okay, gotta be smarter than a printer. Okay, there we go. Add these to the collection. Nine oh ones. Indeed, that's kind of a weird deal. It actually has that coaxial cable, whatever you call it. At first, I thought it was like a plumbing deal, but some sort of electronics. Maybe a big filter or something. What is that? Someone out there probably knows what that is. Kind of reminds me of a splitter like you see on coaxial cable with TVs and stuff. 
Something along them lines, maybe. Or a filter, I guess. Get this guy off his wheels. are full of grass and leaves. stuff I think those are the same ones that were in there last time I came through big pieces of steel welded together not sure what that is there's a window frame enough of that grab these bags don't stick your fingertips down in there um, see how that worked that time I grabbed it like this it's a heavy bag and a and a weak material so see how my see how I've got that 
it's almost kind of like similar to you know how they teach you to when you're chopping onions or green peppers you're supposed to put your fingertips down and away it's, it's the same same type of deal keeps you clean keeps you keeps you from grabbing a piece of glass Turn the camera off and end up right over here. I gotta go. <laughs> Thought my battery was dead. Uh, 12%. I don't know why the camera didn't turn on. Let's try that again. Okay. So I skipped that little chunk right there. Well, I didn't skip it. Turned out to be good. Seeing as how I didn't find anything. So. Excuse me. Sheesh. center console out of something huh it's kind of interesting what do you think shoot you know what that might be worth some money actually if it's not damaged it's probably out of some big expensive suv or something huh very interesting
righty, now the battery's dead. It didn't last long. So when the battery dies in this thing, for some reason it switches from video to time warp, which is like an automatic time lapse. I don't know why. <laughs> So I always have to be sure when I put the next battery in, I gotta go back in and manually take it off time warp. Or else you see me go through here about 50 miles an hour. I talk like this! If you look at enough of these old lottery tickets, you will find some winners. Plus there's a second. That's actually kind of what got me into making YouTube videos. My first action camera was a piece of junk Vivitar that I got from the lottery by sending in or by uh, getting all those old tickets out of the trash. I did all that work and then I got a Vivitar action camera with a little case, like a complete set. Had the, the case and the SD card came with it, like a little tripod and little gizmos and stuff. And <laughs> They gave me, I think it was an eight gigabyte SD card to use in it. And then in the directions it specifically said, do not use a, a SD card bigger than four gigabytes. I'm pretty sure I got those numbers right, but it was that type of deal. Or else it could damage the camera. So, uh, <laughs> I couldn't believe that they would send an eight gigabyte card and then have instructions like that with the camera on the same on the same package. So I did all that work. This was back before they had the the app where you could just scan them. I had to I had to manually put them in on the keyboard one by one. I put that big SD card in there and it sizzled the camera. The camera locked up, it stopped working. And uh, I, I have a habit of testing things with like my upper lip, like to see if something's like damp or wet sometimes. I'll uh, touch it to my face. Cause it felt kind of warm. And the little inner lining of the SD card slot had was had a tin metal lining. I was just scalding hot, it burned my lip. I just couldn't believe it. I just, I mean, it's, it's just amazing that a product like that would be even, I mean, forget about it being allowed to be unleashed to the public, but that a company would even do that. I'm gonna make a digital camera <laughs> and you can only use four gigabyte SD cards or smaller. 
or else it will get steaming hot. Steaming hot. Hot. Ow. Funny side note, as I actually sent that camera in and got a hundred dollars off this GoPro 8. <laughs> I don't know if GoPro still offers that deal or not, but you might want to check it out. I, well, I actually sent two cameras in just to make sure they hook me up. But if you have an old digital camera, any old digital camera, you can send it in. Well, it had to be worth over $100 when you bought it new. Not what it's worth now, but just when it was new, the retail price. And they'll give you a hundred dollars off a of GoPro 8. Which is actually quite a good deal. I don't know if they're still doing that deal or not. But. finish off this industrial park and then uh, it's going to be similar to a recent video I'm going to go as long as the battery will let us go and there's some real nice apartment complexes there and there Not hide from me, Mr. Scrap. Man, it's walk. Automatic cleaning system. That's oh, heavy. Something in there. This usually puts a couple electric motors in here. That's what I was really looking for. But I'll take the stainless steel, dealie. It's real scrapyard stainless steel, I think. 
Nice big juicy copper, copper core. Might have to see what that is on the line before I take it to the yard. There's a Manitowoc ice automatic cleaning system. That little unit, $436.99. <laughs> Let's go to their website, have a look. $436.99. Re removes the hassle of manual ice machine cleaning. That's a nice little piece of uh, machinery. I don't know, I'll probably just list mine on eBay. Parts not working, and then just say maybe it works. I don't know, blah, blah, yada, yada. It's pretty amazing sometimes. <laughs> the most uh, unsuspecting items, you run them through the internet and they pop up. $436.99. You know, I mean, that's. <laughs> They never used to throw this aluminum in here. Look at that. Nice hunks of aluminum. Nice extruded aluminum. I'm gonna come back by. After I go through the apartments, I'm gonna snatch some of this up. That's the good stuff right there. I don't wanna have to haul it around though. Look at that. Oh boy. All kinds of good stuff in there. What do you think? <clears throat> That's the E-Waste Ben Jim. <laughs> ben Jim. Uh, model 6LA20671. That looks like it's part of a big computer. What do you think? Like a little thing they pull out and put back in to save the save the space station and them <laughs> in the movies where they gotta repair something they slide it out and slide a new one in what do you think there it is what's the name of it geo storm is that the, i got the right movie Nice. Those might be valuable guys. I'll have to look at that. Googling that model number sent me to this website, Hawker. This is actually a charger of some sorts. You can see it here, those three things that slide out. I thought that was like part of uh, kind of like a supercomputer or something. Energy efficient charging something or other. 
high frequency. You can go there and check it out if you want. It's uh, hawkerpowersource.com. Here's the fun part. On eBay, no $500 <laughs> times four, $2,000. Of course, I don't have any way to test mine. So parts it is, parts not working. Explain the situation, blah, blah, blah. Googling it, looking for more information. I came to this site. This is kind of an interesting site. This is uh, roundupreviews.com. It looks like you can compare all kinds of eBay listings. There it is. And uh, I noticed it says retails for 1000 locally. So go back to that listing. I didn't look at the description, did I? Brand new, open box, uh, may fit other applications, blah, blah, blah. Retails for $1,000 locally. <laughs> so, yeah, it can get kind of ridiculous. I mean, I know I can't test mine out, and I can't say that it works or pre-owned or what, but there's definitely got to be some sort of parts in there that somebody somewhere wouldn't mind having. So, technically, I have $4,000 worth of parts i just don't know if it works or not it's a constant and nagging problem i always and always have and always will have so kind of an odd logo earth with a crack in it or something I know one thing, I have four of them. There you go. <clears throat> so lots of times you might watch my videos and wonder, I think I'm skipping all kinds of stuff, but I just had to move a couple of these and I just tapped that and there was something extremely heavy in it so you can learn a lot just by even sounds sometimes maybe smells <laughs> sounds and just the way just the way a box will sit in a dumpster you just kind of with experience you just kind of start subconsciously picking up on stuff you know you can even like spit on a box like if you couldn't reach it you could go and just kind of sound like it was an empty hollow box you know This is a movie commercial making place, video, video making place. Ouch. I got 
got the they got the real deal cameras in there Although, the stupid thing is, I, I'm sure you couldn't see in there through the GoPro, but they had high-tech cameras and high-tech computers and digital stuff in there. The funny thing is, is actually, I could probably make just about the same product with this GoPro 8. I would just need to put it on a tripod Get some decent lighting it's just basically about the same thing as goofy as that sounds i paid 300 dollars for it <clears throat> five farkle they might have a hundred thousand dollars worth of gear in there i'm just guessing but that kind of stuff is not cheap I gotta take something out of there, don't I? Undoubtedly, I, I am missing stuff. I mean, I'm sure there's some wire down there and stuff from these garage door open or a garage door installers, overhead door installers. It's just how I do it. I'd rather cover territory and see what there is to see. It's almost gonna work out like a recent video of mine with the uh, the smoke sunset looking straight at the sun I think we're gonna have a similar deal
except for the taters. Oh yeah, it reminds me about the movie. A while back I quoted a movie. I said Steve Carell lost his job and bought a scooter. I was actually referring to uh, Tom Hanks. I uh, thank the commenter for pointing that out to me. There's a movie called Larry Crown. He loses his job or some such something or other. And he's sitting at the at the gas pump filling up his SUV. Like 60, 80 bucks or something. <laughs> and then someone pulls up on one of these scooters and fills up for two dollars. I meant to say something about it. Larry Crown is the movie. Tom Hanks is the actor. Hey, look at this oil pan still here. <laughs> what, what are they thinking? They think someone's gonna come pick it up or something? I can tell you one thing, that's, there's no evaporation or anything. That, that is uh, the same level it was last time. <laughs> oh, I gotta tighten that up, look at that. Contactless delivery. Let's see how this works. Ah, so I want to see how this operates. I want to see the contactless delivery. What do you say? Have you noticed how hard it is to understand people when they're wearing masks? I think we kind of read lips. It's either we either read lips sometimes or the mask is like pressing against their lips. Sometimes it just comes out. That's not contact us delivery. I don't want to get the guy in trouble now. What's up, man? Some rubbish shoes, it would appear. Worn, worn, worn. Hey, those are not bad. Those will disappear from the free tail store quick, right there. Oh, shoot. Except for the mold.
Yummy, yummy, yummy. Very close, almost the exact same position, exact same time. Huh, I didn't try to do that or nothing. I'm able to look right at it. I think there's a little tiny bit less smoke this time. I'm not wearing my glasses or my sunglasses either. I can look at it with my naked eye. I can look straight at it. It's pretty wild. Oh, there's another dumpster just full of chemicals. Oh, it smells like paint thinner or something. Sheesh. Farkle. That Farkle was smart. It was trying to hide in the little sunspot that's in my eyes right now <laughs> from staring at the sun. You tried, Mr. Farkle. Fun fact, did you know that although the sun, our sun, is much, much bigger than our moon. That little Hot Wheels bike, that probably was worth some money before it was trashed. From Earth, looking at the sun and moon from Earth, the sun and the moon are exactly the same size. Did you know that? Smile. 
think of what the odds of that would be being a coincidence. <clears throat> million, 10 million, 10 billion, couple trillion to one. Couple hundred trillion to one or so, maybe. I hear the distinct jingle of a farkle. That's kind of a weird bag. I'm kind of scared to open that. Oh, shoot. What's up, man? S sorry, man. Anything? You're moving? Yeah, I'm moving next week. I got a I'm making a video. You might be on video. Yeah, I don't care. I, I'll edit you out if you want. Some people, some people don't like being on. Yeah, I just uh, like scrap metal and stuff you can sell on eBay. And I'm making a YouTube video right now. What's, what kind of stuff you got? Hey, ain't that big of a deal. Just, if you, if you, are you going to toss it out here? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll come back by, man. I'll come back by. I got to get going. I'll, I'll, I'll swing back by. That's interesting. Put that in the pocket. <laughs> Here's the deal. If this video wasn't ridiculous enough already, that's 10 carats ADL. ADL stands for a few different things. There was a dude that made antique stuff. That's his initials. I don't think that's what this is. I think he just did gold. There's Antwerp Diamond Laboratories, and then there's American Diamond Laboratories. But those are diamonds on 10 karat gold. I've made videos before where I said dumpster diving is probably a trillion dollar industry. And uh, it's videos like this that just reinforce that. This is a, a two hour, two and a half hour expedition. And can you imagine? across the country what sorts of things are out there right now with that being said driving scooters on streets is extremely dangerous i cannot recommend anyone do that what if i get hit by a car sweetie then you don't get a big bag of kibbles what if you don't get no kibble oh look at it big farkle 10 farkle I thought I heard the distinct jingle jingle. Oh, that was kind of a weird looking bag, but I was kind of worried about it. A little picture frame dealies. Oh, I guess I just keep them in there. Huh? <laughs> I feel smart. Come back by. Maybe I'll still be sitting here. What are we doing with right there? Uh oh. Hey, that's a fun little box. That's a little sewing sewing box. That's a, a free tail desirable there. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely swing back by here. We don't got much time before the sun's down. The GoPro will really start to struggle in low light, so I'm gonna come back to this dumpster last. It's a big place, so I'm gonna get, get going. What's up, man? Was that your sewing box? No. What's this? Yeah? Yeah? Alright, man. So it's still coming back. You gonna throw some more stuff out? Yeah. Alright, I'll swing back by. Battery operated wine bottle vacuum sealer. That wine goes rotten if the oxygen touches it.
fun fact you know the phrase well now I forgot the phrase <laughs> aged like a fine wine or whatever whatever the phrase is you can make out of that that's actually not true the older wine gets the more gross it gets because light and, and oxygen and is bound to get to it well normally it's really hard to get every bit of oxygen out of a wine bottle but uh It's actually the opposite. <laughs> it's the new wine that tastes good. Old wine's actually disgusting. Oh, tire iron, that's not bad. <clears throat> and light. Exposed, exposed to light. Wine goes bad too. If you go to a store, they got all their, <laughs> they got all their wine bottles sitting out in light almost 24 hours a day. So like a boxed wine would probably be more along the lines of how a wine is supposed to be stored. I think we got baseball bat X in. Now of course you want to Google that, make sure make sure I don't got it twisted. I hate to give out bad information. What is that? Parkinson Sports. I think that's a I think that's a what is it? I was gonna say it's a disc golf goal, but uh, I don't know what it is. I think it's like a badminton dealy bob thingy. I thought it was gonna be baseball bears. right there nice and heavy Boy. I gotta get through this complex we gotta go I got time to mess around of course we want to take that don't we <laughs> for golf balls. Eat it. Sheesh. You would think they would just build, you know, like a wood privacy fence you could just put right there. Probably a matter of time for someone gets drilled in the side of the head. That's pretty good. There's people down here taking pictures of it.
where I ended the last video. Ah, a little late. A couple minutes late, the sun just went right over that roof. Right below the roof. But anyways, it's a good stopping point. I sure hope you enjoyed this session. And as always, thanks for watching.